with a few jokes, some tears and a powerful call to arms for Australians with a disability, tennis champion and campaigner Dylan Orcott has been named Australian of the Year for 2022. Fresh from the court at the Australian Open, he was announced as the winner at a ceremony in Canberra overnight. St John Ambulance volunteer Val Dempsey from Canberra was named the Senior Australian of the Year. Great award for her. Founding Medic, Streetside Medics founder Dr Daniel Noor is the Young Australian of the Year. And the local hero is Shanna Wan, who has raised awareness of alcohol abuse in rural areas. So many great stories. We are speaking to each of the winners today and hearing more about their fine work. But first, here is part of Dylan Alcott's speech last night. I was born with a tumour wrapped around my spinal cord that was cut out when I was only a couple of days old. And I've known nothing but having a disability. And if I'm honest with you, I cannot tell you how much I used to hate myself. I used to hate having a disability. I hated it so much. I, I hated being different. And, you know, I didn't want to be here anymore. I really didn't. P Paralympic athletes like Louise Savage, Kurt Fernley, Danny DeToro, people that are the reason that I got into sport, advocates like Stella Young, they paved the way so I can be here tonight. And I'm honestly so honoured to, to be up here and it's because of them and everybody in my life that I sit here as a proud man with a disability tonight. I love my disability. It is the best thing that ever happened to me. Wow, goosebumps. For more on last night's awards, our political reporter Tom Lowry joins us now from Parliament House. Such a tremendous speech, Tom, by Dylan there. Who are some of the other winners? Yeah, good morning, Michael. Obviously an extraordinary night for, for Dylan Alcott and potentially an extraordinary week being named Australian of the Year and perhaps winning the Australian Open as well, two things that would normally mark an incredible lifetime. Uh, but some other incredible Australians recognised last night as well. Val Dempsey was named Senior Australian of the Year. She's a Canberran who's been working with St John Ambulance for 50 years. She started out as a cadet in primary school and is still going today. Uh, most recently travelled down with 40 other volunteers to work with victims of the Black Summer bushfires. She also used her speech last night to call for more young Australians to be trained in first aid, perhaps when they're receiving their learner's driver's licences, saying that's a simple change that could possibly save so many lives. We heard just in the last hour from Dr Daniel Noor, the Young Australian of the Year, uh, who started the uh, uh, Streetside Medics Foundation in 2020. Uh, he talked of his extraordinary experience treating a homeless man in London and how this sparked a change for him to realise Realise that you know, wealthy countries like Australia and the UK could be doing so much more to work with homeless people and you know, work with their medical difficulties too. That organisation's grown to now have four clinics, 145 volunteers, and has worked with 300 patients, often finding undiagnosed medical conditions like HIV, diabetes and heart disease and saving lives there too. Uh, last night's local hero is Shanna Wan. She founded the uh, Sober in the Country Foundation, channelling her own experience quitting alcohol in 2015 and now working with people right across rural Australia uh, in education around alcohol and, and peer support as well. So, uh, so many extraordinary Australians recognised and so many more today. Uh, more than a thousand people picking up uh, Australia Day honours uh, and for the first time 47% of all recipients are female as well. So, uh, some incredible Australians being recognised across so many fields. Science, uh, the, uh, the arts and many more. They are indeed, and rightly so. Tom, thank you.